All right. Uh, moving on. Um, <clears throat> and as we have uh, with the GCAA team to uh, take care of the global chapters, because there are a lot of them, uh, and recent developments, we have also um, for the United States uh, chosen, uh, talking to different coordinators in the United States, chosen to uh, expand that team as well from one person, uh, being Reba. Hi, Reba, great to see you here as well. Um, to a couple of other state coordinators so that they also have uh, distributed the tasks between them and it won't be uh, a, a huge load. I started GCA uh, on my own and now I have nine people in my team. <laughs> so is this a reversal of what we agreed on at the last GCA meeting? What? This announcement you're coming up with. Well, you did say something in text, but I, I didn't understand correctly then, I think. Um, the last meeting that I was at here. No, no, no. The one that uh, Barrett let me know about and me and Reva came to attend with Giovanna and Mike and Gary, it was agreed that Reva's back and Nelson was there too. Uh, and that she's stepping back into the role of U.S. coordinator. And I know Giovanna and you, Mike, you guys have different ideas. And uh, uh, as far as I knew, at the end of that meeting, it was agreed upon that Reba's back. She had a rough go. And she's taking care of the stuff right now as the U.S. coordinator. Now, you have this idea of a team, which I know is coming from Giovanna. If you're making an announcement that you've chosen people, why I, I don't know why this gets announced here and then I never hear about it until the announcement's made. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for the confusion. Uh, the last the meeting that I attended was with Barrett, uh, Gary, and uh, Mike. Um, and at that meeting, the conclusion was about probably I missed something and I really did not know anything after that. So I apologize. I don't mean to surprise you here. Um, the conclusion of that meeting was that, uh, in essence, it, it would be handier to have more coordinators within a U.S. coordination team because, you know, in any case, the, the ball will be rolling at all times, uh, and Reba, in her position, would not be excluded from that. Well, okay. I'm just saying you're making stuff up here without including Reba and she's here in the channel and we already had a meeting uh, I know you weren't there Gilbert it's the one that you missed and we talked about afterwards and uh, it was resolved that Reba's back and she's in the role now if you guys look I don't know why this keeps getting pushed and especially not including um, active US coordinators like myself your state chapter coordinators and then some announcements being made that skips over Reba and then skips over you know other chapter coordinators that are current the active I don't understand where this is coming from. For me, it seems like there has been a slight misunderstanding or it's just lack of communication, but I don't think it's just such a big deal. I, uh, it seems like Gilbert understands the situation and, and he's not trying to say that things should be done in a certain way. He just thinks that they were agreed to do be done in a certain way. and. Um, I think you can you can come to a conclusion about this as suits as well. I mean, if if things are to be asked for, shouldn't requests for help uh, and to assemble the, any other team come from Reba? I mean, she is here. Well, yeah. Well, exactly. I mean, nobody's going to exclude you from the conversation, Reba. I'm just telling you from where I was at at the last meeting we had about this. So. I mean, if nobody, uh, maybe in the conversation that we had afterwards, Jason, uh, you know, I've been flustered with Z-Day, so I, I really don't intend to uh, screw you over with this one. I really don't remember that any other official uh, uh, decision was made on the issue. So, but if I missed that, then this is the time. Nelson, could you chime in here, please? You were at the meeting. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, I think I understand the, the misunderstood. 
Uh, the last international, sorry, the last meeting uh, we hold with Giovanna and Mike Gary <clears throat> was not an, an official GCA meeting. So in that case, I, I thought Gilbert was talk with you, Jason, and <clears throat> both agree on the same conclusion, the last talk and TeamSpeak, but I'm not sure. And yes, if there are a decision um, <clears throat> before that meeting, I mean in a GCA official meeting, yeah, uh, I can understand that, but I'm still in the same position. I don't see problems on give just two weeks to fix the problems or resolve the issues in uh, US with Riva. May I uh, chime in real quick? Um, well, yeah, you could, uh, you should resolve this one as probably a lot of misunderstanding, but if it adds to that, that point, then yeah. Um, well, I think some of the uh, confusion have started whenever, uh, well, I guess I should explain who I am. I'm uh, Ty Gillum. I uh, live in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and I was uh, for a long time trying to get a hold of someone within the Zeitgeist movement so that I could move forward as a chapter. But for six months, I was unable to get in contact with Reba. And after learning much of the, uh, I guess, the story within much of uh, TZM America, the... Uh, the chapters were very unorganized. They hadn't made contact with Reba in a year and a half to two years, and that's whenever I decided to kind of step it up a notch and form a, uh, a group together. Okay, I'm just checking the Trello board, and Reba, Mike, Gary, Ken, Barrett, all of them are in coordination. So uh, Reba, you're number one in there. So. Most of requests or anything will come automatically for you. So uh, you are the number one cord in there. What does that mean? What do you mean the coordination board? What is that? That, that means like, the JCA has uh, every chapter in the planet. We have uh, whoever who is in coordination. And let's say your name is first you are the first one they're going to contact. Let's say someone from U.S., like a small city, uh, requests us saying we want to start a chapter. So we go right away to your country, which is U.S., and we'll say, Reba, can you handle this city? This is for your country. And you are controlling, not controlling, I mean, you are the national court. So you will get the email or uh, whatever chapter request to start up a chat. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Sure. Uh, before my lapse in communication, I was accomplishing everything in a very efficient manner. And I have no problem asking for help if I need it. I just had a very difficult time for a long time, but I'm back and I'm committed to the job. So in the effort of keeping things channel. Uh, clear and having like a clear line of communication, I recommend we, if, if you're willing to just allow me a few weeks to respond to all these backed up emails and to help process these chapter coordinator applications and send people to the right state coordinators and let Gary coordinate his state and get some activity going there. Let, uh, let's see, Mike coordinate his city in New York. It sounds like he's interested in becoming a state coordinator. Let's have him go through that process. He seems very motivated. I don't really see any reason to, uh, to, to reinvent the wheel. We already have a working structure. We have a model in place that functions very well when I'm actually doing my job. So I would like the opportunity to do my job and then if there's a problem after that, like, okay, great, let's reinvent the structure. But for now, like, just, you know, trust that if I need some help, I'll reach out and I know who wants to help. I know Gary wants to be very active. I know Mike wants to be very active. I'd like to see them being active in their own states, you know, but also great if I need to lean on someone and I need someone to attend the international meeting, it sounds like Gary is really inter interested in fulfilling that role. Awesome, we'll always have a voice. 
you know? So I've definitely learned a lot in the downtime as to what people perceive of the United States. We don't have a national chapter, chapter. but we, we have state chapters here. And all I do is help coordinate all of the state chapter coordinators. So that's my job. And then I send people to the right place. That's it. So I would rec- I would just, uh, I guess I'm requesting a period of uh, improvement, and then maybe we can revisit the restructuring. Well, as as I said in private conversations to Jason, you did, I don't have a problem with that at all. And um, if any permission for you is not restored yet, then we should do that ASAP. The only reason this brought to the GCA is because, you know, uh, people were being vocal about it and you have to know Reba that nobody's faulting you for being away because you know I have done the same I've been away for pro- long longer periods of time uh, leaving uh, important emails uh, yeah just unanswered so I would never fault you for that it was just the meeting that we had was a response uh, to what was going on and you know uh, we're working together here, all together, and uh, we just need to find at at, at, at times like that uh, a solution, a quick solution. So in my timeline, in my head, it stopped at the meeting that we had there, and aside from other private other communications I, I had. So uh, I'm sorry. I mean, if uh, if you guys had a meeting after that, um, maybe I just missed the communication where somebody reported on the eventual decision, but I certainly yes, don't have an, I sort of somebody's mic's going on all the time. I certainly do not have an objection to uh, approaching it that way. If, if that works out, I don't think the GCA should be uh, worried if it's all working again. And Gary, uh, Mike and, um, and Barrett have been talked to about that, then they were cool with it, then there's no reason from our side to complicate matters anymore. Thank I think you. The, uh, yeah. I think the, uh, the reason... The reason uh, Go ahead. I was just going to say, I appreciate that, Gilbert, and I don't, I don't take any of this personally, and I understand that people were trying to solve a problem. You know, I was gone, and, and people wanted to, to have a point of contact. For the movement, the United yeah, States. We never wanted to get rid of Excuse me. I, I understand that. And I, it's great to see the motivation because we want to keep the activism rolling. But as well, what I saw is a very problem-oriented rather than solution-oriented. And had people communicated with more active chapter coordinators in the United States, they would have understood that they didn't have to reinvent the wheel. We already have a structure in place. You know, so the way this went through, like the channels it went through, made it almost worse, unfortunately. So, you know, I, right now I just want to I want to respond to everybody and reassure people that there is a voice on the other end of that email address, you know, and just kind of clean up the mess. Uh, Reba, I just want to make sure that you understood you are the main person in the coordination. You are the main person that that's all the emails that whatever requests we get, you are the main person. You're going to get that email first before anybody else. And let's say you don't answer for one month, two months. Somebody says, hey, I sent an email. It was sent to Reba, but she doesn't answer, answer us. Let's say one month, two months. Of course, we are going to go probably to someone else and see what's happening with Reba. Uh, but yeah. You, yeah. you are the main person. That totally makes sense and uh, great. It's good to have good to have that as a fail safe. You know, if if someone goes out of communication for a long time, like whether it's me or anyone else in the movement, there should be someone else that the email could get forwarded to. A lot of the emails in my inbox right now that I that I'm solely responding to, there are questions that could have simply been answered by the person forwarding me the email, but instead the person would would forward me the email and say, well, I'm forwarding this to the U.S. coordinator. And then they would get a response. And rather than just saying, here's the California website, or here's, you know, this is, look on TZM chapters on that. This is where you see this. Rather than just answering the question, they kept inflaming the situation and saying, I'm so sorry that the U.S. coordinator isn't responding to you. Let's talk about how we can reinvent the wheel. And it really created a lot more of a problem. And that's what I mean by being, problem-oriented rather than solution-oriented. 
So there is like, if, if we're going to have this team where if someone's out of, out of communication for a long period of time, that team needs to be on the same page and need to know how to respond to things. You know, there needs to, so as far as Mike goes, I, I know that Gary's been involved for a really long time, but as far as Mike goes, I'm not sure if he understands really like all of the resources we have that we would refer someone to, like as a first line of response. You know, and it would be important for for all of us to be on the same page in that way. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just, just, respond, just wanted just, to hold on. Just responding to Jason in chat. Yeah, like I said, it, the team was just a conclusion of the last meeting. So if in the meanwhile there had been changes, then it's not necessary to. Uh, talk about a team and the team was a product of everybody being you know just okay what should we do <laughs> and you know I mean even California had thought about a possible person to step in so I mean don't fault don't fault us for for going that route in the discussion I mean it, it should be a closed topic now I mean sorry for that I, I missed something in the timeline that's just it okay I, I look I, I don't fault leading up to that last meeting. I understand that there was a problem trying to be addressed. And what I did as a guy that generally goes out to try to find solutions was to reach out and find out what was going on and get Reba back into the fold. Okay, that was that was the solution I brought is let's find out what's going on with the person that volunteered with this role. Okay. And she's here now. All right. So now that she's here, um you know, she's going to do a great job. I mean, Reba is awesome, and I, I respect her uh, ability to find out who, what people's intentions are, help develop uh, state chapters. I found her, you know, she came to a meeting in California a long time ago, and I recognized her as a really good person. And so I think, you know, she she really deserves our respect and the fact that she took the courage to come back and let everyone know what happened and that she's in communication, and she's doing a good job. And, and the team requests after our last meeting should be coming from Reba. And that's really what my main point is. Uh, you know, if she drops off the map again, I understand Steve said that there's a, uh, you know, there's a few other volunteers in line to help uh, take care of the administrative if that falls behind again, you know, uh, with, with these big, you know, couple month gaps. And that makes sense, sure. I think Jason, Just if you should be on that list also of people that are contacted because you're very active. I appreciate that. You know what? Um, I'll let I'll let those requests come to me from Reba. Um, I, I I appreciate that too, Gary. I do find myself, you know, my my plate's full. Uh, when my plate clears out, I I do want to step up and do as much as I can. But uh, I have other projects going on. I've got chapters here. I've got you know, like everybody else, we have a Z day coming up. Um, sorry, just to answer Reba. Um... In the GCIA, we are we divided um, the the world in parts. So um, some of us are responding to, for instance, the Arabic chapters, or some of us are responding to people who speak Spanish. Some of us are responding to people who speak the uh, Russian, uh, uh, whatever far <laughs> east. Uh, languages um, and so on. So um, this is why uh, the uh, emails from um, US were forwarded to you. I, I just want to give my feedback. And, I'm sorry, go ahead, Riva. Oh, please go ahead, Victor. Yeah, my feedback and all this. Um, um, I think the whole mess started because uh, in that meeting, where I was in that meeting, where someone from GCA plus another good people from the U.S. want to take over the coordination due to the problem of the RIVA. So the problem I have with that is that RIVA wasn't in the meeting, number one. And number two, nobody trying to find out what was the problem with RIVA. Because uh, the fact that Riva doesn't respond to email doesn't mean she's lying down in bed looking to the ceiling. So maybe there is something wrong with her. Did someone get back to her in a personal way to find out what was wrong with her? I, don't, I, will I don't think nobody did. I, 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 I will answer that. Be, okay, okay. Can I finish? 
Oh, sure. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. So, and now, so I see the 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 problem is getting a, a mixed feelings, no? But uh, to me, that's because from the beginning, the whole thing is starting in the wrong way. I mean, I do understand someone is not giving feedback, that's fine. But you have to find out first. Maybe the person is like down in the hospital, <laughs> you know? So who knows what's going on, you know? So, I mean, may, uh, I remember twice I sent email to them uh, and Jason responded back and Riva. And then after a while, I didn't have a, a feedback until I spoke to Riva on SKN and, and, and didn't speak. That was uh, two days ago. So, and then I realized her personal problems, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, I do understand that things have to be done. But at the same time, we are not corporation. We don't fire people here just because it disappeared. We're just trying to find out first what's going on, you know, and then we make decision. You know? Well, ex exactly. So I, I, I think there's a misunderstanding that nobody tried to contact Riva. I can admit that I didn't personally send an email to see where Riva was, but uh, that's because uh, at the update I got at our GCA team meeting without other people uh, that there just uh, has not been a response uh, recently or in recent months. I thought I was informed the last response was September. So when we planned the meeting where I was present, uh, or maybe, maybe I misunderstood or misheard, uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter uh, in, the, in the end because I'll conclude with what happened in the end. Um, what happened in the end was that Barrett approached me and Barrett said, well, I haven't had contact with Reba recently either and I'll just send her a text message to see if, uh, if I can figure out what's going on before the meeting happens. And before the meeting happened, Barrett uh, told me he didn't get anything back. So I moved on with that information uh, at that point in time. So I, I felt that she that you know you were contacted that that yeah that's it <laughs> so but anyway not to draw on it for too long look uh, there was obviously a big misunderstanding here uh maybe somebody did send me a message and i just missed it with a with a summary of this meeting and otherwise i would have not gone in this into this item and made an announcement like that so sorry i fucked it up Everything is in the Trello, Gilbert. If you check Trello, you can see the follow-up of this case. Yeah, I, I, I totally didn't uh, read that or had time for that. I'm sorry. I have a hotline with, with Peter for uh, C-Day Athens and his phone is just going off all day. <laughs> Andrew, I believe I responded to you a few days ago. Yeah, yeah, of course, but that was uh, after the meeting occurred. Oh, no, Gilbert, I was talking to Andrew, just wrote in the text, yeah, so basically, uh, um, <laughs> the sorry, responses sorry. are coming, the responses are coming. Yep, let's uh, continue, so sorry, uh, reversal of announcement of point four, rebus back in coordination. <laughs> All right. Yeah, indeed, we need to grow a lot. <laughs> Sorry? said, indeed, we need to grow a lot. Well, yeah, but I mean, uh, as we talked about before, it's not so much about the size of the organization itself. I mean, the ultimate goal is to uh, have people informed about the possibilities of uh, natural law resource-based economy, not to draw everybody into being active, although, of course, that's a nice Thing to dream about but it's not going to happen so um 